Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and apparently we're in a hype train. I have to pull out two more Jelly Bellies. This pumpkin pie flavored Jelly Belly. Bleh. Bleh. Because y'all were cheering. You were cheering for me to, to start the show, so I'm going to do that. Right now, as soon as I, I eat these. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hey, Liz, cheered X100. Eat it. Eat it. Okay, Liz. I'm eating another one. Oh. I need to turn that down. That's going to get annoying. Um. So. Oh. Paceless Chain X100 Spider. Hype trains over. Mm. Mm. I wish I could chew it like a cow. Like, you know, the cow chews his cud. And by the way, I also had another another jelly bean in there. The pumpkin pie jelly bean for fixing dude slapping four stickers. Um, oh, you got Fixing the Pyrex dishes. That's Dex awesome, back to Prime. Wait, so, you're Spider-Man? There is a massive spider on my shirt. This I know. Uh, I've been printing successfully with the uh, candy cane, candy cane, candy corn filament crafted by RC Maniac. These are the two Vaders that had been produced. Uh, they are mixed and matched with parts because uh, it, it was difficult to get a good uh, orange, white, yellow balance uh, as each were printed uh, as, as they are. Uh, but I feel that these two, I like this one a little more than this one, if I had a choice between these uh, these two ones, these two faders. But, you know, I, I guess I, I have a choice, but this is the one that I feel is the most candy cane-ish. Am I the only one? Uh, yes, they both have they both have white crotches. Well, yellow white. They have yellow white crotches. So it's not like a full white white crotch. That's not it's that's it's a partial white crotch. Thank you, Liz, for that screenshot. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think they look fine. Uh, I, uh, I I've also been trying my hand at you know I mean successfully I would say in the sense that I've been printing uh, getting a stormtrooper done. But the problem is the orange in this mix, which is great. Thank you for the gift, uh, RC Maniac. But the orange is so shy that every time I go to print, it the orange doesn't want to come. And now I've got in the tube, the orange is coming. Right at the end of this particular print, I've got orange. So I'm like, I'm just trying to get pieces that I can mix and match to make them candy caney. But unfortunately, the stormtroopers as they're turning out, for the most part, are like turning out to be... Uh, white and yellow. So I have to like print more. Got to build a stormtrooper candy corn army here. Uh, and, and yes, uh, we, we uh, uh, oh, that was Kurt's. Sorry, it was Kurt's screenshot. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I decided to put on this hoodie. I haven't worn it in years um, because, uh, you know, it's not really something that I throw on. But given that the, uh, uh, the trailer just dropped, uh, I, I was like, all right, watch the trailer. I enjoyed the trailer. The trailer was fun, fantastic. I, I have a feeling I would like to see it in the theater. I don't think Jedi will want to see it in the theater. Unless, of course, I promise her popcorn, and at which point she'll say, yeah, I want to see it in the theater. But then I'll have to prepare. I'll say, okay, we have to watch the other Spider-Man movies to see if you're into it for you to decide whether we're going to see it in the theater because I'd like to see it in the theater. That's one I want to see. MCU, uh, for sure. Uh, and it's... it's, uh, it's, it's it, it, the trailer was, I thought, solid. It, enough to pull me in, for sure. And uh, Deuce Falcon, uh, yeah, your your uh, your screen grab went far today from my junior high school yearbook. Troy asks, I wonder how they're going to incorporate Venom down the road. That is a good question. Uh, another stormtrooper done, baked, for the most part. This one only had, sadly, a little bit of orange. I mean, I like the idea of this. This is that's why I'm I'm having fun printing these. Um, this this stormtrooper had the most about the most orange, but the problem is is that it's all bottom layer orange, 
not not necessarily um, mixed enough. But this this stormtrooper may actually turn out to be okay. Uh, I'm considering assembling this trooper on its own, uh, just for that because it'll have a hint of orange, but be mostly yellow and white. Uh, I'm going to do it again because what else could I be printing? In this candy corn uh, colored, I almost said flavored. Uh, well, okay, let's just say flavored. How, what, what else could it be printing in this candy corn flavored filament? Any other guesses what I could do with this? Um, opens YouTube, no trailer, reload, no trailer, reload, no trailer. Chris mentions the trailer, YouTube has the trailer. RC Maniac, welcome to the algorithm. The algorithm hates you. It, it, it hates me too. Uh, you was kind of, you were kind of into it with the last trailer. I've never seen any Spider-Man movie beyond Into the Spider-Verse. Really? Huh. Print an ad at? Hmm. A pumpkin pie fighter. <laughs> uh, well, I'm good on those. I like how those colors turned out. But what would look... I, I think the figures... This is kind of a fun figure. This is fun. I like this. Uh, so I'm thinking that, you know, more of the Star Wars figures. A candy, candy corn series of figures. Potentially. But Stormtroopers you can army build, right? But I'm, I, I'm trying to think of, like, what else. I just saw so I got to print out other characters, I guess. I uh, got a few things to showcase tonight. Not much at all, really, uh, apart from a, a Wookiee, a pet toy that crinkles, does not squeak. Or I guess it does squeak. So it's, it's been, It was run over because it's, it's completely flat. You see how flat it is? But it, it was run over, and I saved it. Uh... Flat, cr cr crunchy, crunchy. What's the word? Roadkill Ewok. There we go. That's your ASMR for the night. Um. So the thing about this, uh, uh, by the way, Paxi Prime. I know you've been going to, to Ross Home Goods. Also has some good stuff too. Sometimes. You were wondering what you hit. Oh yeah, this was it. I, I got. I saved the. Uh, I saved the Ewok. Uh, and in in other pet food or pet food pet toy gains, this is seemingly. Um, well, the base of it is not Star Wars, but on top they are Velcro. Oh, here, let me pull that stormtrooper up a tiny bit there. Uh, Velcro Star Wars characters. Uh, these are dog treats or, or dog toys. I keep confusing treats and toys. Uh, but the the base, the foundation is not Star Warsy. Uh, it's just um, it's just there for apparently just Velcro effect, which is fine. I this is the only one I wanted. I wanted the uh, the Darth Vader, the the, the Vader. Um, uh, Ging gingerbread stuffy, right? So, ready for the holiday with the gingerbreads. Um, give me a second. Put that there. And for tomorrow, for Life Day, I got some balloons. Uh, these are definitely not licensed, but, you know, I'm not, you know, going to be too much of a stickler given that they're all going to be blown up. Could I print General Grievous? Maybe with the right model. I haven't found one. And for whatever it's worth, I've got orange coming soon. Hopefully, a lot of the brim is going to go to the yellow. So that way I don't waste it. Star Wars Spider-Man crossover? Any day. Why not? Uh, the Spider-Man I was most familiar with as a kid was the one in the Electric Company. If you ever watched the Electric Company, Spider-Man was in the Electric Company. So I saw that Spider-Man all the freaking time. All the time. Uh, Kurt says, I mean, in the eyes of Lucasfilm, is the holiday special even officially licensed? Not really, but here's the thing. Tomorrow is Life Day, so what the plan is right now, uh, we're going to, uh, that's right, hey, you guys! Um, so we've got, th this Vader, <laughs> I'm serious, it looks drunk. Look, look at his, look at its eyes. Is, is it just me? Like, the, it just looks, it looks kind of... Not licensed is what it kind of looks like. That's right there. Uh, print a Vader helmet. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do a few Vader helmets. But the problem is, like I said, it's a matter of going through all the filament colors. So the figures probably work the best out of all of them. Um, but anyway, tomorrow's Life Day. 
very much looking forward to it. Got a whole thing uh, already for, for Jedi to enjoy, um, to, to, like a spread. I'll, I'll set it up tonight or, or to early tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, it'll be a blast. It'll be a total blasty blast. Uh, got balloons for us to, to blow up, uh, to inflate, you know, plenty of them. Uh, really cheap uh, for the most part. So that way we don't worry about, you know, uh, we use too many licensed balloons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thank you, Krillin64. Uh, I got a an IDW uh, Adventures um, uh, compend. What would you call this? It is the. It's basically a compilation of the story, the arc, graphic novel, and this is pretty much how I plan on uh, getting comics indefinitely. Is just getting the graphic novels. The problem is, is just staying up to date on all of them is not easy, which is very unfortunate. But it's easier to get these graphic novels and read through them than to get the individual comics and manage the individual comics. So may not be worth as much at the end, but I'm, I'm a big fan of, of, of going that route, uh, if only to get those stories. So, yay. Would I rather start my live streaming career over again or never live stream again on any platform? Uh, start it over again. So, uh, Spider-Man trailer, great. This film, it's great. Life Day, Great. Uh, there's going to be other announcements. Uh, the Gingerbread Squeakies. Great. Um, there are going to be other Star Wars announcements uh, tomorrow, uh, including Black Series announcements. So I'm hoping, hoping uh, that it has something to do with Life Day because they saved it for Life Day. So I'm hoping for some holiday special Black Series. That would be so cool. Um, very much looking forward to that. And then maybe... Uh, they will, they, if they, if, if Disney says they're going to release the Star Wars Holiday Special or re-release it in HD, uh, on Disney Plus tomorrow, then we will not be able to watch it together. If they don't re-release the Holiday Special on Disney Plus tomorrow, then the plan is we will watch it together, uh, on the stream, right? Because I don't want to, I, I, I've got to be very careful about, um, copyright infringement and all that stuff and, and getting in trouble uh I, yeah you know kurt i i i tend to agree with you uh big agreement if we cannot watch it you will act it out well we, we have to provide color commentary we have to provide plenty of commentary because otherwise um you know it, it's so that because that way it's like fair use we're talking about it we're providing context you know we're analyzing it, breaking it down. You want me to try to act out the grandpa scenes? That's not going to happen. Ah, 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 ah. You know, the older I get, the more I start looking like Lumpy. Wait, Lumpy? Yeah, Lumpy, Mala. Uh, God, I knew, I was just thinking about this this morning too. Itchy. Sorry, Itchy, not Lumpy. Lumpy's the, bo uh, the, the the kid. Itchy. The older I get, the more I look like Itchy. <laughs> uh, that's buried under the Disney vault and contained in a lead-lined box. Now, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they re-release it. They already re-released the cartoon. Uh, they pulled that out. Uh, the adventure... What was it? Something of the... Faith, uh, something Adventure of the Faithful Wookiee or something is what they, they titled it. Um, that was... It was fun. Uh, the, the cartoon. I mean, it was, it was, it was great. It, it was the precursor to the droids and Ewoks cartoons, for sure. And soon you'll look like Scratchy. Yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, oh, yeah, so there's the orange. The orange is here, just on some of the brim. Okay, at least we played out the yellow. I'm sure the yellow's coming back. Um, Spider-Man trailer. Hot, hot, hot. Exactly, RC Maniac. Exactly. We'll see. I don't know. I'm... I'm I'm cautiously optimistic that they'll release it because they, they, they haven't really ignored it like Life Day. So here's the thing. If you look on Shop Disney's website right now, um, the Hillsy, I totally agree. George's cartoon is music and the music is underrated. Totally agree. I wish I would have been into it as a kid, but unfortunately, because I wasn't, it just didn't, it didn't hit for me. It, it wasn't it. I, I didn't do it for me, unfortunately. And I loved Star Wars, right? But it, it was just not, it wasn't the same as live action. I've always been more of a live action kind of fan, more so than, and as much as I love cartoons, you know, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Mask, yeah. It just didn't, I, it wasn't as easy to catch. 
You watched it on Saturday morning, and that was it. You were lucky to have that. George Lucas also acknowledged it in the Boba Fett mini-doc. He, I, remember, I caught a clip of that. But my feeling is, because they, if you look on Shop Disney's website, look, let's, 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 let's go there together, shall we? Let's, let's go over to Shop Disney and see what Chris doesn't have yet. Chris does not have a lot. Uh, where is it? Desktop? No, that's not it. Um, sorry, that that was a that was a bad flip. Um, how could I do this? Well, anyway, go to Shop Disney. We're just gonna talk you through it. And if you see it tomorrow, I'm sure it'll be at the top of the uh, uh, of the the website, like because it's it's Life Day. But if you go to uh, let's see here, what would it be under? Because they just announced it. Toys on sale, clothing on sale, other stuff on sale. They have nothing Star Wars related on the front page, which is just bizarre. Uh, if we do a search, a search for Life Day on the Shop Disney website. Why are they not coming up? Okay, I know. Okay, if I do a search for Chewbacca, there's a Chewbacca stuffy in a red robe with a globe. Okay, maybe it was okay that I didn't pull that up, but dang, dude, that's depressing. Did I get the Best Buy item I linked to? Uh, I already had one, but I grabbed another one. Thank you very much, Mark. So I'm thinking, because Disney released a Chewbacca in a red robe, and the only way you saw that it was in the holiday special, with a globe and a mug, a globe mug, a Life Day mug, uh... And they're releasing other Life Day items. Life Day is officially becoming a thing. Officially. And for it to officially become a thing, my my belief is what they're going to do is uh, release the holiday special on Disney+. Plus. They're going to like maybe make it better in some way, shape, or form, and they're going to release it. It's going to be garbage. And people are going to hate it. But man, they're going to love to hate it. And it's going to become a thing. It's totally going to become a thing. I absolutely believe it's going to become a thing. So that's my conspiracy theory for today. Is that they're going to release the holiday special officially tomorrow. Now, if they do, what we can do is we can all watch it together simultaneously. Uh, assuming you have Disney+. Plus. Uh, I just, I have to, I don't know if I can get away with rebroadcasting. Because again, copyright is like, well, especially if Disney's putting that into... The Disney Plus library. There we go. Thank you, big fan. That's, that's I thought I knew it was somewhere. There's the there it is. If you if you check that link, there's the Chewbacca with the red robe and the Life Day globe mug, and then an ornament Life Day ornament. So this this is the official start of the season. The official starts. Uh, we have a charades and a Would you rather eat your cereal with eggnog instead of milk or eat a candy cane sandwich? Uh, eat my cereal with eggnog. Uh, so anyway, tomorrow is going to be full of surprises, no doubt about that. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, apart from celebrating Life Day. Because either you celebrate Life Day, or you're wrong. Seriously, celebrate Life Day, or you're wrong. For real. Okay, so charades, here we go. Hollywood got it. Hollywood's in for a million, just like that. And thank you, by the way, Amish Traxil for following. I totally missed that. Not quite the uh, never ending story. Not quite. Not there. Definitely not. Uh. Yeah, so uh, I needed to. Oh, oops! I have. I need to go over here. 
and make sure something else is running, but oh well. I'm a very I'm a I'm a fuzzy spider man tonight. Very fuzzy. A fuzzy spider. That's that's the worst kind of spider you could ever run into. A fuzzy spider. Uh, last night I watched. Um, what was it? It was uh, on Netflix. It, Red, Red, Red Notice. Was that was that what it was called? It was. It was okay. I am a web developer. I'm the original web developer. So uh, yeah, uh, Red Notice was okay. It was a good popcorn movie. It, it was fun. I could see them doing another one. Like I, I thought it was. I thought it worked. It worked for me. I was like, yeah, this is good. Started to watch um, a Jungle Cruise and then realized that I think it would be better if Jedi also watched it because it felt like it would have been a good Disney type of family movie. I immediately got that feeling when I started watching it. I'm like, dude, this is going to be a pretty good family movie. That's that's my feeling. I could be completely wrong. Uh, your life day will consist of watching Ghostbusters Afterlife in IMAX. Uh, I've heard that the reviews are not glowing at all. It's it like it's not looking good for Ghostbusters. So that might very well be a renter or a, a wait until it shows up on one of the streaming services and watch it then kind of movie. Not sure we we've got any other way around it. Um, am I gonna try this? I'm gonna try. I'm going to do this one. Oh, oops. You're a web developer, but your Spider-Man poster fell off the wall, and now I'm here. Oh, boy. I, I've enjoyed all the Ghostbusters, but, like, apparently, this new one, not doing it. Not doing it. Got to remove the supports here for the, uh, the, uh, Stormtrooper. Ah! I, I never got into the live-action Spider-Man. Never got into any real live-action superhero stuff on TV. I don't know, it was just, it was, even back then, it was just so cheesy. It was so campy. And I, I don't know, I, I guess... I didn't like it. I was never into it. I, I mean, I knew of The Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man, of course. But, like, it wasn't really... It didn't do it for me. I, I, I feel different about today's production values, though. Like, I feel more like, you know, I would want to watch a live-action Spider-Man series of sorts. And maybe it's just because I've enjoyed the production that, that Disney's done with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. My, my feeling, and this is probably more of a, an overarching concern, is that we're getting to the point with entertainment where it's, it's getting to be that movies could have been live-action TV series, and potentially vice versa, or just separate seasons of a series instead of movies. And, and I mean, even in watching the Spider-Man trailer, I'm like, okay, I got a good idea what this is going to be about, but like, I'm already thinking this kind of feels like it could have been a live action series, not just a movie. I mean, the, the lines are blurring with entertainment fast. Uh, why are there no, some, some I don't know why I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you not in control of the drops. That is, uh third-party service yeah this the Star Wars holiday special let me put it this way y'all are in potentially for a treat if you never saw it because we're gonna try to trip through it tomorrow it, it is very it, it's it's long it, it is definitely very 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 long <laughs> so tomorrow prepare Prepare for a good life day. Now, I do not have any tip yip for life day, unfortunately. There's probably a vegan... I think... Did, Liz, did you send me a vegan tip yip uh, recipe? I think. Treat? More like acid treat. Have you seen it? I remember, like, 
you know, I, I honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll be direct. Like, a lot of some, uh, some of the Star Wars stuff I didn't realize was a thing until long after, you know, I was, I was old. Like, I, I, I learned about the Star Wars Christmas album, aka Christmas in the Stars, which is fantastic. It's great. I only found out about it because Amazon, a few years ago, was selling it on CD. They remastered it. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't know this was a thing. So I was really upset to find out about it late. And then the Star Wars Holiday Special was so bad, they never repeated it. So if you didn't catch it when it aired, you never saw it. So I never even heard about it, let alone saw it. So the so a few years ago, I finally as people kept saying, "Oh, it's bad. Avalon it's bad. French you don't want to watch it." X100. What happy to Chris? Did a spider bite him? Yes, I've been bitten by a spider. Thank you, Avalon French. Appreciate your support. As always, and everybody's. Um, so I decided I'm like, "All right. I'm going to see you know, if I can make it, I'm going to see, um, how, how it goes, and as bad as it is, it, it's, it's bad in a bad way, but, like, f fun, too? I don't know how, how else to explain it. It's just bad. But, um, there are parts of it that I feel were good and fun, a great way of kind of getting into the the holiday spirit right and and, and so much of it how, how, how do you explain it it was a it was a product of its time right whereas where's the star wars movie or movies i should say not just a new hope were were, were timeless right they're they're classics they still they stand the test of time the holiday special was as much of the this the culture of the time as anything so that's that that's how you have to take the Star Wars holiday special. It's not don't don't go into it thinking you're going to watch a masterpiece because that is not going to happen. It is not a masterpiece. It was very much a product of its time. That's the easiest way to explain it. <laughs> and and, and the, the, like, I'll tell you when we watch it tomorrow in one way or, or another, when we watch it um, I'll tell you my uh, parts that I like, parts that I uh, that are fun. I mean, it was it was more of a, it was more of a, like I said, a cultural, American cultural television culture type of program than it was a Star Wars anything. Cheesy, campy, uh, variety show, but th th I remember those being on all the friggin' time. When I was a kid. Those are on all the time. Now you don't see them. You just don't. Right? Um, yeah, a lot of people don't like it. It's it's like um, it, it's it's a bad thing. It's like your guilty pleasure. That that only it only happens once a year. So if you do it right, it only happens once a year. The holiday special that is. You think it's I I you know I'm not gonna say it's marvelous, but it, it's it's definitely uh, it's not Marvel either. There's no crossover there. Oh, by the way, I watched the uh, the Simpsons special, the little uh, Disney Plus um, Simpsons cartoon thing. It was a little it was fun because of course Star Wars was in it. Um, a lot of you want to talk about what got lambasted. People were really upset at Disney hyping up Disney Plus Day because nothing actually landed. Guilty pleasures listening to Sade's Smooth Operator. You've never heard me talk about I, every time I, I hold up, hey, Kurt. No need to ask, there's a brick separator. Brick separator. It's a brick separator. Every time I pull one out, no need to ask. Uh, we watched recently, recently the Mark Hamill Empire era Muppet Show episode, yikes. It, it was a product of its time. All these shows, products of their time. So I, 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 I just, I, I enjoy tuning, I, I like, I, I like tune, tuning in 
to a um um to, to, to a, an old show right play it on youtube have it going in the background sometimes like the muppet show it doesn't happen all the time sorry i'm getting my i'm getting the hands ready here for the the stormtrooper get it set there was hardly an orange on here that's okay we'll make it work ow and it's in my nose um, yeah, Muppet, old Muppet shows are fun to watch, too. Mu the, the, if you want a good taste of what that era was like, the Muppet show is probably a good example of that. Those, that was, that passed for, inter that was entertainment. I mean, that was what we had. And if you wanted to watch the Muppets, unless you're watching Sesame Street, you know, that's what you got. You were not expecting me... To pronounce her name right and did not expect me to have a cover on hand. That's funny. I am full of surprises. Wait, now, let me ask this, Kurt. Have you seen the Star Wars holiday special yet? I say yet, because I'm going to force everybody to watch it tomorrow. Is this it? Getting my stormtrooper candy corn stormtrooper put to, first candy corn stormtrooper really put together. It's like the the orange is just a, a highlight. You don't see a lot of the orange, unfortunately. Um, may want to color the stormtrooper's eyes orange. That would be kind of fun. Good morning, Man Cave Hobbies. Heath, how you doing? Happy early life day. Although I think you're celebrating life day where you are right now. Okay, so we've got our first candy corn stormtrooper. Really, because it's like, this is, I, I would consider this one a complete one. Because it's it's got enough, it's got the highlight of, of orange. Just, just a whisper of orange on that one. Not a hefty orange. I want a hefty orange. Like one where it just feels stronger. The next one that's coming out may be very even more so than this one. So uh, we've got... What's going on? What do you mean? You want to take a temperature? We have them downstairs. Uh, you want to? Can you take your temperature, please? Oh boy! Uh, Man Cave Hobbies. This is actually a custom uh, filament that um, RC Maniac crafted. He did a very good job with it. Very, very good job with it. I'm not sure if I have anything that I could ask him to do. I don't have any big projects. But I like this kind of stuff, RC Manny. This is kind of fun because it's different. I'm going to do other... As soon as, I, as soon as I get a good, in my humble opinion, a good candy corn uh, stormtrooper, or when I get a good candy corn stormtrooper assembled, um, then I'm going to move on to the next trooper. You know, or next... You know, because I've got, like... Like, I'll, I can do a... Like a um, Mandalorian, I could do a, 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 a Scout Trooper, I could do a Death Trooper, a Battle Droid, K2SO. I mean, these would be fun in Candy Corn. So it's all RC Maniac, not me. It's all RC Maniac. Uh, so, what, may I ask, did everybody else think of that Spider-Man trailer? the only one who was jazzed for it. I know I'm not. 
You didn't see it yet? Liz, go watch it. Not that you need my permission, but I'm saying go watch it, come back, tell me what you think. Curious to know, Liz. You're kind of, I would consider you, you know, invested in the MCU. Right? Or invested enough in the MCU. Now, the cool thing is about this Stormtrooper helmet, the way it printed, it's got like a yellow dot. Like a speck at the top. That would be so much, it would have been better, I think, if it was like an orange dot at the top. But that's a nice offset. It's a very subtle candy corn trooper. Can't have enough. I mean, I don't, I'm trying to. Th I'm. I'm think. I'm trying to think. What am I going to use for this candy corn uh, before I move on to the the snowflakes? Oh, thank you, Heath. Uh, I appreciate you watching the vlog. Um, the the new plan. I'm gonna let the uh, the tech videos kind of play out on YouTube, and the new plan is to. Uh, re-record or to to try to do a vlog every week so because the reaction was so positive that one time i'm going to try to put in an effort uh or i am going to put in an effort to do it once a week so basically the youtube channel will be a vlog channel for the lack of a you know anything else and so i'll be compiling footage recorded you know over the course of that week to hopefully have something that's like, here's what we did this week. You know, here's here's what happened uh, this week. Uh, still planning to have John Prosser. He never got back to me, is he? Uh, I didn't watch his recent video regarding Apple software, and I don't think I need to. I think I, I was saying that seven years ago. Before it was cool. <laughs> there you go, Heath. Heath, um, RC Mania, or RC Maniac, Heath, or Man Cave Hobbies was curious about the, uh, the candy corn filament. Um, yeah, a lot of people were really happy with the blog. I was, I was honestly kind of shocked, uh, all things considered. Um, it wasn't something that I put a tremendous effort in to or, or thought about much. Um, but it, it felt like, it didn't take much to put together. Of course, now if, if Jedi's sick, that kind of puts a damper on, you know, doing what I, I was hoping to be able to do. But, you know, if we've got a week, we've got a week. Jedi, the, the problem with, the problem right now with, I, what, I know what I was going to do. I was going to do a dot, like because the problem with with the, the the way that Jedi records on the iPad is she doesn't look at, she doesn't look here. Let me, uh, uh, here's an example. So if I hit if I hit record on this video, the record button's over here. But the problem is, is that she keeps looking at the record button, not the camera. And so it looks like she's looking off camera. I, I, and I keep explaining, you, know, you can't look at that. You've got to look here. And she was telling me, well, I don't care. I'm like, well, people who are watching it do. And if you're recording videos for other people, you've got to look right at them as you're talking to them, right? Not, you know, when you're recording, constantly looking in a direction that's not the camera. But, uh... The, uh, um, the what I was gonna do is basically paint like with a white out or something like that a little white dot and like when you record always look at the white dot just look at the white dot look for the white dot the white dot is where you want to look so that way she's always reminded to look at the white dot not the record button so that way she's looking in, so that way there's a good balance that's my feeling because people I think will get a kick out of the things that she records assuming that she's not getting sick because here's what happens. I mean, we're all vaccinated with at least the flu shot. Um, doesn't mean that we couldn't get sick. Uh, Jedi will be getting the uh, COVID-19 vaccine as soon as we can get an appointment. Um, so if Jedi gets sick, usually Dina comes right after, and then I'm I would be after that. So we'll see how our immune systems are standing up right now. Not sure yet. That definitely remains to be seen. Uh, well, well, yes, big fan. I think that's what well, Diana just came in here and said that Jedi wasn't feeling well. I'm like, oh, okay. News to me. Pictionary, fair enough. 
Nearly 3,000 views and over 200 comments. Chris and one day. I, I mean, Heath, like I said, I'm more than happy to do that again if people are if people are responding and i will do my best but doing it once a week is about as much as i think i can i don't think i could go daily again i just i don't think it's not, especially i mean i can do live daily doing live daily is fun plus you all do the cheers and the subs and all that stuff so it's more supportive um if in a big if uh i get um uh, you know, if the ball gets rolling, I will ask on the blog. I'm like, hey, if if you if you're enjoying this, please consider joining as a member to to, to join the channel, the YouTube channel. So I'm going to be asking people to join. If you could join as a member, it'd be great. It's very support. You're, you've been very supportive of the vlogs, and if if it's very helpful to help keep us going with the vlogs, please consider becoming a member. Discord error top left. What are you talking about? Thank you, Kurt. I don't know what they're going to be called. I don't know if they're going to be called anything. Okay, here we go. We've got our... Our uh, Pictionary term. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to call it a reboot, but... Yep. Narf Chunks got it. Did I get that right? I just gotta, like, look closer. Gotta give me a little bit of credit. I'm not too bad with drawing with a mouse and paint. I'm not horrible at it. Definitely not a seaman. Definitely not. Quantum Beckett said, I made you a part of the Spider-Man Star Wars crossover movie. What? What? what, what, what I'm looking at... Uh, okay, Quant you gotta explain this to me. I am speechless. Okay. There, you get you get a little quote. Quote tweet. No emo... I don't know. It's It could be broken. I don't know. Now, Aveline French is probably very skilled at... Um, paint Pictionary because she's an artist. I'm just farting around. Alright. Uh, oh my god. Lit. Okay. I know this is not... Wow, this is bad. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Why is my mouse off? Yep, new future tech, got it. Oops. Ah. D 
the ears gave it. That's what I'm saying. Like I needed to do. I needed to set the context for it. They needed ears. Ow, my ears. Dun 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 dun. Wah 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 wah. Uh, I think I'm mostly caught up on my shows. Um, Dr. Brain, I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much, I think I'm all caught up. I don't think I have any new, any other movies that I wanted. to, maybe I have like one or two I gotta look into. Cause I'm waiting on Jungle Cruise, I'm gonna see if Jedi will, will watch it. Maybe if she's sick, maybe that'll be enough to, to get her to watch it. There we go, there's your, wait. All right, that's, is that, I accidentally pressed the smooth button, but what do you think? It's popping up there. Thank you, Aveline. Oh, for the stretch. Oh, good stretch. Well, I feel like I've got a, a good, or a thicker um, orange on this one. Definitely a lot more dramatic than the first one that I did. So I may favor it, depending on, on how the other colors kind of come out. What's one Star Wars action figure you would love to have those never made? Oh, what would be great? So this is my feeling. I, I mean, we can all make predictions. For tomorrow's Life Day release, um, I predict Disney's going to release the holiday special on Disney+. Plus. One. Two, I already know they're going to release Black Series figures. My belief is, because back in the day, allegedly, Kenner was going to release Chewbacca's family. So, like, Wookiees, right? Different. They had different hair color, but they were modeled like Chewbacca. My guess is that we're going to get a, a potentially a four-pack or different exclusives of Chewbacca's family. And they're all going to come potentially with Life Day robes, but, you know, separate. Um, but you, we will be able to get Chewbacca's family. That's my feeling. That's, that's what my gut tells me. Because, like, what are they going to release on Life Day? Because there's going to be figures. But what are they going to be? I'm like, it's got to be the holiday special. It has to be. It has to be. And, uh, you know, I, I think that would be... Those would be the things that would sell the most. Because, I mean, you have your other characters like Akmina Or, like, uh, Art Carney's character, the traitor. Um, uh... You've got, you know, the, the the classics like Luke and Leia. And the, no, no, no. I think it's Chewbacca. I think it's Chewbacca and Chewbacca's family. And I agree, Hilsey. My my wish would be that they release the Star Wars Holiday Special figures in retro, because then we can get Gourmand and and and, and Akmina and and like all the bit characters and Chewbacca's family. That would be wild. That would be... I'd be beside myself. But I get I get a kick out of that. I got a kick out of um, the special uh, holiday figures that Hasbro released, although they were Black Series. I would have rather have had them at a smaller scale, personally. I wonder if it would be restorable. Well, Kurt, one of the things that... Uh, if In the Boba Fett... Apparently, in the Boba Fett, uh, behind the scenes, there was, um, there was footage from the holiday special that was remastered. So, I mean, it wasn't, like, night and day, but it was an improvement. Uh, speaking of the holiday special, just found my Concept Boba Fett, Concept Boba 2. Uh, which one? Black Series? Vintage? I want them to do way more stuff and more fun stuff with the Vintage Collection. I, they, but they're, like, doubling down on the, uh, uh, on the Black Series. I know it's a balance between the two, but... I just, I mean, I'm, I'm more of a fan of the, the, the shorter, the 3.75 inch scale. So I'm excited. I, no matter what they release, I'll get it. Like, well, it doesn't matter what we do. Chris is going to buy it. Yeah, you got, you know, you got my number. My credit card number. So I'm excited. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll be, uh, we'll be celebrating uh, life day together as it was meant to be. It was meant to be enjoyed together. Not just me watching, because normally it's just me watching the holiday special. I try to get Jedi, like, come on, let's... And she watched it one year, but then, uh... No, it's not. No, it's not. We're going to try to broadcast it. 
Senior 76 coming in with a raid, working on that viewers. original art of, of the Yoda. Uh, like he's basically uh, doing the the Yoda, like a, a design that was I, I think done by somebody else. But you're basically redoing it as an original, doing a fantastic job, painstakingly, almost pin painting each particular part, like this little bit and then this color and this little bit. It takes a, an incredible uh, uh, amount of attention to detail, Senior. Uh, so, Senior, let me say to you, uh, since I know you you understand, happy early life day. Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to be uh, celebrating life day this year with so many fellow Star Wars fans, especially fellow collectors. Tomorrow. Definitely looking forward to those droid TVC figures. Yes! Take the Boba Colors all day. Yes! I'm so excited. Uh, very excited. Because here's why, I there, I would never be able to complete a, a vintage droids collection. I could do the Ewok collection. Um, I haven't gone for a loose, full collection of Ewoks or tried to even do a droids line. But if I, um, if I do it, if I had like figures that I would want. I want an R2 and a C-3PO vintage loose uh, from the droids line. Those are two figures that I would still like to get. And so Hasbro releasing them in the vintage collection, I'm not saying that it's close enough. I mean, it's nice. It, it ain't the same, but that's those are the ones that I would like to, to have. Do I choke you watching the hol holiday special? So, Senia, tomorrow we're going to watch it here in the stream. And uh, we're going to we're going to play it in the short in the small window, uh, and and watch it together and provide commentary. Thank you, DB3D Dan. Shout out to DB3D Dan. DB3D underscore Dan just the resubscribed for nine beans. months. Hello, just popping in to say hello and have a great night. Yeah, I am off to, to bed eat. now. Uh, can our droids get further out of reach every year? I, that's why I know, inevitably, I just have to bite the bullet. I already know that. But finding one in good shape, I, I, I wish I would have done it years ago, but it is what it is. I'm not even sure what a loose 3PO and a loose R2 even go for these days. I mean, us, I was like, they were asking like 300 a piece. I'm like, nah, it's too much. And then they've just gone up. I'm like, great. Great. That's the story of my life, right? You just paid 600 for the For the loose droids figures? The 3PO and an R2? Good condition? C9? Is that for, for those two? Because I definitely want to work through uh, collectors. Brand new? Brand, what do you mean brand new? They're not new. They're old, dude. So you can't exactly say brand new. They're vintage, man. That's not how vintage works, New Future Tech. Not really. I may have to school you on, on what's vintage. Brand new be. That that would be modern. The yeah, new old stock that is that even that it's like it's it's vintage. Not modern. Uh, thank you for popping in, DB3D Dan. Thanks again for your support. Uh, very appreciated. Yeah, and continue doing what you're doing. It's it, y'all gotta admit, like number one. You know, me hating spiders, I'm, I'm wearing Spider-Man to celebrate the trailer release. And the fact that I'm wearing a, a, something that's not Star Wars related. Well, not full. I mean, hello, I, I still got, you know, that underneath, right? But I don't like wearing these hoodies all the way up either. Mint in box? No, there's no way. There's no way uh, an, a carded 3PO or a droid um, would be that low. They're way more than that. No worries, Senior. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, got a new charades, I guess. Yeah. No, not cheap. No, not that cheap. No way. That's what I'm saying, dude. 
I'd like to find the loose ones. Okay. Hollywood got it. I knew I, I knew I didn't have to do much for that one. I knew that that one was going to be easy. They were in Twitter picture you just looked at. Sorry, I was confused. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that, that, no, no, no. I'm talking about the, like, the vintage figures. That, 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 that's, those are the ones. I, I don't even want to go to eBay. I'm a little worried. You want to re? What do you, what do you, what do you mean you want a refund? All right, Comic Age clothing. What lights are we going with? That was so fast because I'm that skilled. Spider Man Red can do. Spider Man, Spider Man, friend the neighborhood, Spider Man. Shooby doo, rock steady crew. Find him an octopet new with flare hair. There goes the Spider Man. Wop, 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 wop. Um, where did I get cracked Pyrex? Where did I get the beanie? I got the Sith beanie uh, in a, uh, it was a Target box uh, around the release of uh, Rise of Skywalker. And it came in, in, in a box, like with other, like, random things. So, I, it, it was one that I was like, I would love to, it's, 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 I'm wearing a hole in it. That's, that's how you know I love this hat. I've got a hole coming into it, so I'm gonna have to, gonna have to sew that up. Or ask Diana to do it. She's much more skilled with the, the needle than I am. But yeah, I, I like, I like wearing it this time of year. Even with the hair cut, right, it just, it kind of keeps me warm. It's comfort, you know. I thought I lost it at one point. Yeah, I like the Star Wars beanies like this. I don't have enough. So I don't really wear a lot of them. It has been a couple of years ago. It's kind of weird, you know? It just seems like Rise of Skywalker is just like... Just the other day. In the heat. Oh, white is next. I get an idea because I kind of... Oh, white and then orange. So we're going... This one's going to be really orange. So that one will be a really good one to... Mix and match with this one. Okay, that's good. I needed that. I really needed that to, to mix and match the orange. Uh, big fan, thank you for re-upping in Prime. Disney parks aren't even celebrating the Life Day tomorrow. Fan well, 2019 I'm not just resubscribed for 11 months. Disney parks I'm aren't even Day celebrating here. Life Day tomorrow. And that's all that matters. I can tell how many people have been supportive with with cheers and subs in the average night. The nastier aftertaste I get at the end of the night. Mm. Blech. Now I got the Spider-Man song in my head. With the speed of light, he arrives just in time. Boom, beep, ba, boom. No more three cheers. Oh. One hundred. Sorry, they make me gassy. These jelly beans make me gassy. Thank you, no more three, and thank you very much, Comic Age Clothing, for that wet fart. Mm hmm. Go by watching Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on Thanksgiving. See the Baby Yoda balloon. I, I don't know if we're gonna watch the whole thing. I'm really not into watching parades. At least on TV. But I'm sure we'll watch the segment. I ended up uh, retweeting someone today. Um, yeah, yeah. Let me see. I'll grab the tweet and then link it in chat. By the way, Krusty has uploaded. Um, and when I, tw when I tweeted this earlier, it hardly had any views. And now it's got tons. So I must have gotten in on the ground floor on that tweet. 
Uh, check out that tweet there. Krusty's also uploaded the snowflake, so if you wanted to print the Chris Perillo snowflake, because you know I'm a snowflake, um, you can. That model's been uploaded to PrusiaPrinters.org. Everybody, if you're... So, if your timeline on Twitter is not wall-to-wall Spider-Man, you're following the wrong people. I'll say this. Like, you are absolutely following the wrong people. Like, they're, 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 the, they're the, the absolute wrongest people you could ever follow. For real. It's just interesting. I mean, so many people are like into their own little fandoms, like the Funko fans. Like, I just can never imagine being as into Funko as some some people are. I mean, I, I like the Funko stuff. I like the minis. I mean, because there's so many to collect. In fact, uh, Jedi doesn't know this, but we got a um, a uh, 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 the the Funko mini uh, advent calendar, the the Harry Potter one. Uh, I. I picked up thrifting i got someone had basically donated their the avengers one so i got the avengers mini pops and i thought okay it'd be neat to have that the harry potter ones too is it's it's a nice it's a neat little collection you know without getting the big pop vinyl so it's a little bit she hasn't seen harry potter either she's seen one that doesn't count i don't even know if she saw it all the way or if she got scared halfway through okay good you saw the trailer yeah it does look fun You're following me. That's right. My my feed is all red. What I'm saying is like Spider-Man is like dominating the feed right now. Spider-Man is everywhere. Like literally everywhere. It's not a problem. Not a complaint. Um, it's always fun to to kind of take along or come along with the uh, um, uh, uh oh hang on. What? You liked the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire? I did too. I like Tobey's uh, Spider-Man. Um, I, 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 I like Tobey's Spider-Man. Uh, I'm not going to say more than Garfield's. I like Garfield's Spider-Man. Um, but I also like... Uh, I, I, I like them all, honestly. Just like, I mean, like the Batman movies. I, I like them for different reasons. But it's not... Again, Spider-Man's not my fandom. The MCU's not my fandom. As much as I'm a fan... Uh, I just kind of, I just enjoy it. I take it in, right? It's just entertainment. Is it good entertainment, right? Are there characters? Is it good story? Is it is the story told well? Used to love watching reruns of the 60s series as a kid. See, I didn't, I didn't do it. It was too campy for me. I it just wasn't my thing. I, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a, I wish I could describe with, you know, like, 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 I can sit here and say, I do not like gore. I don't like, you know, e egregious blood. Like, you know, it's, it's not it's not my thing. I don't like horror. I don't like gore. See, that's like, that is clear. Um, that's a clear line. But, like, I can't say that I like all comic book movies because I don't. Like, I can say that I like pretty much every MCU movie, but I don't like DC, necessarily like DC's movies. So it's like... You know, it's entertainment, right? It either hits you or it doesn't, right? And, and it, it, there's no, seemingly no rhyme or reason. I mean, the only thing that 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 I think is 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 permanent in my book as far as entertainment goes is Star Wars. I'm just going to take it in. I just it's just it's always been something that I've just I, I there's been a comfort to Star Wars uh, as 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 something that 
few other things have have resonated with me as deeply. Um, but I didn't grow up with comics. Uh, Y'all know that it wasn't uh, it wasn't really an option. Uh, we had comics or access to comics, but it wasn't it wasn't as um, it, it wasn't as easy to get to. And I mean, I, I I'm I'm kind of jealous of Jedi for a lot of reasons. Trust me, Jedi lives a far more privileged life than I ever had. Uh, that is for sure. I mean, she gets to do things that I don't, I didn't get to do, right? She gets to go to school remotely. Okay, that's great. She's surrounded by so many amazing uh, uh, opportunities and, 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 and technologies and, and access and, and, and forget the toys for a second. I mean, just everything. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, and I'm sure, you know, when she's older, the same thing, theoretically, if she has kids. You know, she'd say the same thing. Like, the, hopefully her kids would be just as better off. Back then, they sold comic books at grocery stores. Raven Guard, our, our grocery stores didn't really have them. Like, I mean, I saw them, but it's like, money was in short supply. We weren't... The funny thing... Here's the funny thing. My parents owned a hobby shop, a hobby store. But it was all... Or was dominated by, like, Dungeons & Dragons, like, the, you know, TSR stuff. Um which they weren't into, so that wasn't a part of our culture. Um, models, like model model cars, model planes, I wasn't necessarily into it. Dad wasn't necessarily into it. He just sold it. Um, you know, crafts, but they didn't... Mom might have crafted, but it wasn't really a thing. Uh, but if they would have opened a comic store, right, there would have been a lot more accessible um, entertainment options for, for, for us as kids. I think it would have been far more fascinating um, if it would have been collectibles, right? I think that would have been far more fascinating. I, you know, honestly, that would have been a, that probably, and hindsight's twenty twenty, right? You can't say what it would, but it, if, if dad had gone into that kind of collectibles market, um, the buying and selling of that kind of stuff, it would probably have been um, more interesting to me. Uh, than it was because it was honestly it was boring as hell what my parents did was boring as hell but at least with what I do I mean Jedi really doesn't understand what I do you know for my day job right but like she doesn't understand she has no context for it you know working from home I joked about this the other day I took a picture Fisher Price has a um, a, ki a, a, a toy set called um, work from home like mommy like a work from home toy set I tweeted this yesterday or the other day posted it in the newsletter too um, the, anyway, I was just like, oh my God, there's a toy for working at home. This is horrible. Uh, this is a nightmare. Uh, but you know, she sees what I do on video and she kind of gets it. She kind of understands it. She's seen how the vlogs are produced. So she gets it and she enjoys watching the vlogs. So I feel because she's a natural on the camera, just try, I mean, we don't even tell her to do what she does on video. She just doesn't. Um, my feeling is that she's going to do something not far off from what I've done. And I don't mean she's going to do video like I did. I don't mean she's going to live stream. I don't mean she's going to talk about the same thing. She, I'm saying she's going to use the same outlets that I do as a creative medium because this is what she's known. And I've provided that type of leading by example. Look, hey, Jedi, you can do this. You can have fun. You can express yourself. But you can also make money. You can earn a living. You can earn respect. You can earn everything that you have it, by by doing that, by following your, your passions, your dreams, your ideas. And creating content gives her that opportunity. So I'm really, um, that's another reason why, you know, doing live is fun. But again, providing an example, like, look, this is, this is what people do. This is what you could do, right? When you figure out what you might want to do. If that's the case, and I, I, I would be shocked if Jedi pursued anything that did not involve, you know, recording video in one way, shape, or form, because she's natural. Like I can just tell you, she's got it. She's got it. She has it. There's an it factor, and she has it. Much like I had it. Like you didn't have to teach me how to, you know, talk to somebody or how to interact on a camera, right? I just, I just do it. Like I can, I can, I can connect with people doing that, and I think Jedi is is very much going to be the same way. So I want to try to continue to do things to encourage that, um, 
and showing her, hey, these are some options. These are some things that you could do if you were so inclined. Um, I, uh, uh, where I, was I jealous of friends because of what they had and what I didn't? Well, of course, like, we didn't have a lot. We really didn't. But, but you know, that was, uh, I mean, I, I, and I don't, I don't fault my parents. I think they did the best with what they had, <clears throat> you know, and they, how they balanced things. I, I, you know, as much as I might have wanted things to go a different way, uh, I think they did, I think they did their best, you know, and I, I mean, does that mean they, they, they hit it out of the park? Does that mean that, that I always liked what they did? No, absolutely not. I, in fact, I disagreed with how they raised me in certain respects. In many respects, I did not like being raised in a religious household. Me personally, um, I did not like the way that they chose to uh, discipline. So the way that I choose to discipline is is firm, uh, very assertive, but I do not believe in corporal punishment. I do not. I, I believe in talking through things and sometimes you know getting into shouting matches i have no problem with that but like i do not i i do not abide by hitting smacking pinching any kind of physical anything with jedi nope. absolutely not absolutely not so uh you know I, I don't agree with everything every decision that they made but uh, you know as as a parent you know you, you, all you can do is 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 work together uh, you know with you know your the person that you're parenting with because if you're not working with them you're not a team and if you're not a team everything's going to fail it's going to fall apart that's how it works when when one person isn't pulling their weight whatever their weight happens to be uh things will fall apart fast you've got to be a team i've said that for years the midnight smith chaired x100 thanks to you, you chris in this community you're not a good i did parent. my first twitch the stream today i had fun uh, you had your first Twitch stream today. Well, congratulations, the Midnight Smith. This disgusting jelly bean is for you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. What'd you stream, Thanks, buddy? Yes, oh, you're pretty printing. Team family. All right, the Midnight Smith. Everyone, go follow the Midnight Smith. Here's a new. And remember, we got a, a shout out to the Midnight Smith and a shout out to Watch with Wayne. We raided Wayne last night, and Wayne we used to watch the vlogs. His daughter was born at the same time as Jedi, or right around the same time. So Wayne was a fan of the vlogs. So I told him, like, well, people seem to want them back, so we're going to try doing them every... I'm going to try to do them every week. My hope is that people will keep not just watching. My hope is people will support the vlogs. If you would like to support the vlogs... Much like, if you would like to support me on Twitch, thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for your cheers. If you want to support me, or the, the vlog endeavor on YouTube, you can join as a YouTube member. On that platform. Absolutely, no problem, Watch With Wayne. See, I am a nice guy. Um, thank you, Liz, team family. Thank you for the cheer. Mm-hmm, just like that. Yeah, we've talked about it, big fan. Ugh. Was the jelly bean licorice? No. I've been really weird about um, licorice lately, the black licorice, because it could have some... I mean, it has nothing to do with whatever's going on with my heart. And honestly, I don't even know if anything's going on with my heart. I have been measuring over and over again with my EKG at random times when I think, okay, am I feeling a palpitation? And I'm not. It's just like, I don't know... If something else is happening, or something may be happening, or nothing may be happening. Like, even when my heart rate gets elevated, do I feel like it skips a beat? Maybe not. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm able to pull through. Nothing weird happens, but I just, I wonder if a lot of it's in my head. I really do. Um, I stopped taking my multivitamin, just a kind of process of elimination. Stop taking melatonin, process of elimination. Um, I don't. I, I, I stopped taking any extraneous um, uh, omegas. Like, you know, I just don't want to. I don't want to, you know, run into a problem. Uh, hey, Brazzy Fresh. Yes, I remember you. You're looking forward to the vlogs as well. Awesome. Well, every week, every week. And by the way, uh, the 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 newsletter. If you sign up, if you go over to my Twitter account, um, that's the easiest way to to sign up for the uh, the newsletter. 
the email newsletter that goes out um because i it's a digest right so of like that week's inspirational quotes and now now the blog some clips things that i you know tweeted out over the week you know things that like oh yeah what did i miss from chris this week did i catch everything so i'm sending out digests i've been doing that for a while though uh wait hang on when when you watch the watch your heart go up right well uh, not always wayne but um i'm getting the apple watch it's coming soon finally i got the i got the the payment that kind of went through today i'm like okay so it's it's on its way um i'm hoping that that when i have the moments will detect like it, oh there's you know an arrhythmia right i mean it's got whatever it needs to get you know to, to record the data but like the EKG has been the, the six lead EKG that I showed like the $150 device or whatever. That's the one that I kind of like, okay, I feel something, nothing. Okay. It's only caught one potential arrhythmia, but the cardiologist that I sent it to said, yeah, you're fine. So I'm, I'm guessing that the same thing's going to happen when I go to the other cardiologist. I'm guessing it's psychosomatic. And maybe it's just that right now I'm, I'm more panicky than I, than I have been prone to panic attacks, prone to nervousness susceptible i don't know what the word is but like if my heart rate gets elevated or i'm doing something i just i feel different for the lack of a better word and maybe that it becomes again psych psychosomatic and then then my mind starts racing right and i try to like keep it in context you know i don't feel any pain you know my that i know of my my calcium score is still zero i don't you know i, I don't eat animal products so you know my arteries are about as clean as they ever have been if they're if they're not like perfectly clean uh being vegan um who dis who dis um You have the same thing happening? Wayne, I don't know what's going on. Seriously. Okay, so I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all. Um, I've had issues, these types of palpitations in the past. They're, I'm not getting at, it seemingly, since I stopped the multivitamin and stopped the melatonin, I'm not, and st stopped the omega. One of those um, has made it so that I don't feel as many palpitations in one of those changes. Um, you had to take your Apple Watch off just because you're having anxiety attacks. Watching the Apple Watch is making it worse. Well, I've got, I wear a smartwatch. It, it, it doesn't do a great job, but I mean, I, I look at it. I'm like, you know, I feel like my heart's racing. I'm like, oh, okay, it's, I'm, it's tachycardia, anything over a hundred. But I'm like, if I'm doing something, right? If I'm sitting there doing nothing and my heart rate's 120 and I'm not like panicking or whatever, then, then there's a problem. But I'm not anywhere near that. Like any type of elevated heart rate is either in relation to doing something that was strenuous or starting to get kind of panicky. So I, I don't know. Maybe I need to look into some more long-term medication that not, that isn't related to the heart, but more of the um, maybe some other. I've got another another kind of chemical imbalance, and I don't know. Uh, hey Nathan, you're an OG viewer of the YouTube channel. Well, are you are you watching now? You tried melatonin for a bit. Wake up with cold sweats. Oh wow. Well, I I haven't been watching. Um, uh, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been uh, uh, taking it for uh, for too long, uh, or I, I guess for a while, but there may be long-term side effects, including heart palpitations. So because I was having these random skips, seemingly, I was just trying to troubleshoot it, right? And eliminating those things from what I was eating has seemingly ceased the problem, but then I feel I get the psychosomatic um, experience where in a, in a context like my heart rate's elevated and whether I think about it or not, and I don't, if you've ever been through a panic attack, you know what I'm talking about. Like, okay, I have to constantly, constantly reassure myself that I'm fine. And it's just, it's asinine that I have to tell myself, you're fine, Chris, you'll be fine. You always pull through, you, there's nothing wrong with you, you're okay. It's just that this summer, right after again i've had palpitations in my life uh i believe it's not in relation to again this isn't my tinfoil hat but a week after 
the first vaccine, that's when I first developed this seemingly caffeine intolerance after drinking coffee for decades, right? And now I can't. I can't drink caffeine. I can't have caffeine. It impacts me. And I feel that 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 nervous, like weird kind of fluttery nervousness. It feels like my heart is just off. Like it's in it. So that. And then after the second vaccine, um, it was... It was these pal- weird kind of palpitations. So I'm saying that because th- it's true. That's That was the timing of it. I think that was potentially coincidental. I don't know. Uh, but the... Uh, I'm sorry. Am I getting your heart going, Wayne? Um, the... Uh, uh, but... Because I'm not. I'm, I, I'm a big believer in vaccines. That's me. Um, but... Uh, that said, after eliminating these other products that I had been taking, like melatonin, omega-3, potentially the multivitamin, I just I, I was trying to eliminate anything, like a process of elimination. That seems to have minimized uh, any kind of impact. But I'm, I'm pretty much, I think I'm pretty much done with caffeine. Like, I, that, there, I don't think there's any way around it. You're right, I can't drink caffeine either. I, Wayne, I, I, but like, I mean, coffee was life, like every morning. Like a shot of espresso or something like that. Like, and then it was just almost seemingly overnight. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, it's not the vaccine. It's anxiety and a panic attack. Had the exact same, I, that's my feeling. It's anxiety and a panic attack. I think it's anxiety. I, I really, I think it's anxiety. In, in a, and it's manifesting it in a way. And stress. And I, I think it's, I don't want to say stress. Everybody has stress. I think everybody has anxiety. But as I think through a lot of the things that I'm doing... Uh, and a lot of where I am, and a lot of where I'm trying to go, I can see why I have a heightened amount of anxiety. I've got changes that have happened, and changes that are coming down the pike. Um, I mean, big, potentially big changes, like things that that are big stressors, and a job is a huge stressor. Paying bills is a huge stressor. I'm not worried about paying bills. Okay, that's, I've got, we're good. Um, Every cheer counts, but like, every sub counts. We're good. I've got that handled. But in order to do that, I've got to do certain other things, right? So I, I believe it is anxiety manifesting itself in a different way than it than it had prior. I'm getting older. I'm almost 50. Life changes, you know? So it's it's manifesting itself in, in, a, in a big way. What about Gatorade? Yeah, Frazzy Fresh. Um, one thing that I was concerned about, am I getting my electrolytes, right? And I was like, oh, okay, that's what it is. I thought it was just a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. Um, and as I looked into it, I'm like, oh, if I don't, if you don't have enough electrolytes, you can be having hot, you can have heart problems and I don't have problems. I'm not in pain. Like, you know, my, my, my I'm, I'm vegan. Like it's, I've, I've got the best kind of diet for your heart that you could ever possibly have. Um, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but the, uh, uh, the, the challenge that, that I had is like knowing if that was a contributing factor. So I'm I'm taking the the tablets, the Nun tablets, N U U N tablets. So I'm taking those and those those give me electrolytes. I don't know if I necessarily needed them. I don't think they hurt. Uh, I don't necessarily say I can say that the biggest difference I felt in any change that I made was not taking the extra omega-3. That was the biggest change. Uh, not taking melatonin has been a change, but I can't say that I necessarily felt the difference. Not taking the multivitamin hasn't necessarily felt like it's been a change, but I, again, I've been, it's all these episodes have dissipated since then. What used to be able to handle when you're younger can be harder as we get older. John D, I'm hitting that. I'm smacking into that wall. Anxiety's hitting you with an insomnia and the side effects. I, I've, I've had a couple nights of insomnia, but... I mean, since not taking... That's why I was taking the melatonin, because I just could not get a night's sleep. And the melatonin chilled me out. Uh, I don't exercise, but I usually get in about 10,000 steps a day, on average. Once I ate five pounds of chocolate-covered pretzels, suddenly I got sick every time I got pretzels. I would get sick. Only, it only happened after that, and then it, I went... This this is in my head. I went back to eating chocolate-covered pretzels. Uh, me drinking coffee is not in my head. Trust, I feel uh, different. I, I've, got a, I've developed that... Uh, uh, coffee, uh, the coffee uh, uh, overconsumption, for the lack of a better word. Uh, CRISPR, vitamin D deficiency. It potentially is. 
Uh, and, and and I don't know if it's I don't think it's related to that. It related to that. I had at one time taken a vitamin D supplement, and I may do that again. I want to find out um, more from going. I want to go to the cardiologist first, just to see. Okay, what do you think I should do? And then go from there. Whether that's medication or, or like some kind of nutrient supplement. When it happens, next time drink a bunch of water, it'll calm you down. Really? Okay, I'll try it. I'll try anything. Wayne. Too many electrolytes. You'll pee them out. Good. Yeah, Kurt, I still haven't watched Solar Opposites. I'm not on Hulu yet. Oh, I guess, is there a new Discovery? Is a new Discovery on right now? I guess Paramount totally screwed the pooch. Um, I don't even have Paramount on my phone. Paramount Plus, I think, has, in the U.S. at least, Discovery. Star Trek Discovery, Season 4. I don't know if I... This this may be the thing I'm watching tonight. Very much looking to this, forward to this season. Uh... Not seeing it. Discovery. Wait, 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 wait. Star Trek Season 1, Episode 1. No, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. No, just Season 3. So it's not... It's not up yet. Yet. You find CBD oil? I see. I'm not so sure about CBD oil. If anything, I just need. I think I need. I think I need anti-anxiety medication, not anti-depression. Although they're like you know hand in hand. Um. Pivotal Pete notes a Black Friday Hulu deal. Okay, I may take advantage of that. May. It's the one service I have not signed up for. Paramount Plus, I only signed up for for Star Trek. <laughs> I'll be honest. And there hasn't been much else on Paramount Plus. They really need to jam it with a lot more stuff. Let's turn this stream into Get Off My Lawn, One Man's Journey to Getting Older. That's me, day by day. Just get high enough? No, even that. Marijuana can cause heart problems. For real. Oh, it premieres Thursday. Thank you, Pivotal Pete. Can't deal with mid-roll mid -roll ads. Well, Al Alex, then become a sub? I don't know what to tell you. Nothing, nothing's necessary holding you back. Use a Prime subscription if you have that. I, I, I have it set to set it and forget it. Yeah, they took Discovery off Netflix today. That's that was the thing they just ran, ran into that smack ran, ran into it, and a lot of international fans are just peeved, and for good reason. I would be as well. Like if, if that was if that was a problem, and I was a Star Trek fan, that would be really really bad. Looks like I'm printing pieces of pumpkin pie, kinda. It's gonna roll uh, from white back to orange, and then if I see. Oh, a lot of orange, a ton of orange, and then orange to yellow, possibly. So it's it, this. This is a great counter. The the orange is a great counterbalance with the, uh, the. See, this one was all there was no orange in this one, so I'm fine with this being um, a, a lot of orange because I need. I'll mix and match the pieces. I'll put you know the legs will be on one and the arms on the other and like it, it'll it'll mix and match so that way each one of them get a good balance of, of orange so many subscriptions yeah no doubt have i seen star trek motion picture series and shorts uh yes the motion pictures yes all the movies uh i've watched most of the series not all of them uh and then not, i haven't really gotten into the shorts uh even lower decks i watched a, a couple times like it's fun if, if there's nothing else on i'm like yeah i'll watch that but not not like I'm, I'm heavily invested 
And even, what's the new one? Frontiers? Is that the, is that the new one? Is that what the new one's called? I can't remember. I haven't watched that yet. If I watch it. And I think I got like Paramount Plus is on, on like one of those deals where I got it for like two bucks a month or super cheap, you know, for the first year. And then I decide like there's, there's really HBO Max. I'd probably continue to use uh, without any problem. Um, and that is not, um, that's not something I take lightly, lightly. Uh, but the, uh, uh, Disney Plus has pretty much earned, okay, that's just a permanent thing. Even though there's not a lot of stuff on Disney Plus, I mean, there, there, th there's like enough new series to keep me interested to keep it around, right? Or new releases to keep it interesting. Like if, if one a month, great, that's, that's, that's all I might need. HBO Max has been great for series. Paramount Plus has been an absolute stinker. Um, so I probably would not review Paramount Plus, or renew Paramount Plus unless a new Star Trek series dropped and I want and then I waited until it was all out and then binged it and then dropped it again. The new one is called Prodigy. Thank you, Frazzy Fresh. Couldn't remember. I haven't watched it. I might, I might. Like again, it's like I, I watch a lot of the a lot of series. And then I'm like, okay, what's on tonight? I'm like, okay, flipping through. I'm like, oh, I want to see that on Netflix. Watch that. Or, oh, I want to see that. Oh, what's on Apple TV? Have I caught up on all that? Okay, yeah. Um, and it seems like a lot of the series that I've been watching are, are getting ready to wind down. Uh, and then some new ones are spinning up again, like The Boys. I'll watch that. The Amazon, Amazon Prime has done a horrible job. There are probably some things that I would enjoy on Amazon Prime. It's just I always, I never check. I don't check Amazon Prime. Has Jedi tried Star Trek or Only Wars? Uh, not really, and I've tried to get her into to either one, um, and she just hasn't, she hasn't latched on. You literally only use Amazon Prime for Grand Tour? I don't even know what that is. Sounds like a car thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not even sure what's on Prime right now. I think there was a new movie that looked, they, they were advertising it with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, and I'm like, that, uh, uh, about a guy who paints or photographs cats? I'm like, yeah, no. I'm good. Hang on, just a second. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Wheel of Time. That's the one. Has anybody seen that? Maybe I want to start this. Wheel of Time. Whoa, Heavy Metal 2000? Oh, no, no, that's, that's 2000. That was the, not the original Heavy Metal. The Electrical Life of Lewis Wayne. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, Justin Bieber, Our World, Grace. Great. Great. Uh, oh, see, they just got a lot of garbage. Amazon just has tons of garbage. So I think if I'm seeing this, then of course there all the Christmas movies are coming out too. So I, I definitely want to watch a lot of those. I, I enjoy the new ones. Um. Some of these just don't look interesting. But Wheel of Time, November 19th. Oh, it's not out yet. That's this weekend. So that one looks interesting. Anything anything sci-fi? Anything sci-fi? Uh, I'm into. Like, I'll try. I'll give it a shot. Sci-fi, fantasy. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll try before other uh, uh, other shows. Drama, only if, only if uh, you know, people talk about it. Continuum does not sound familiar to me. Heavy metal was, uh, now I'm talking about the heavy metal from the, I think it was in the 80s. Like, we rented heavy metal, um, and watched it on VHS. Uh, I, I am a Doctor Who fan. I, I wouldn't consider myself a Whovian, like others do. But, um, it's been, uh, it's, who has been okay for me? Bakshi heavy metal. Is that what it was? I never got into old school Star Trek. Too campy. Even back then, even when I was a kid. Like, even when my dad watched it, I'm like, eh, this doesn't do it for me. Battlestar Galactica, I was kind of, eh. I mean, it was it was on, but I, I wasn't drawn to it. Honestly, I wasn't drawn to it. Buck Rogers wasn't necessarily just drawn to it. I didn't, I, it wasn't, I don't know. And as much as I might have enjoyed it, 
Uh, I just didn't. It was just, there was something about it that was just, it didn't work for me. For the, for the same reasons why watching it now doesn't work for me. Um, and maybe it was just because of the production value. That That is entirely possible. It just, it was always really cheesy to me. And I'm like, mm. never got into Stargate. Uh, apart from the movie, I enjoyed the movie. So that's that's what's really fun. I got in fact I got to get him on the line. I want to pull him in for a, a, a geek out together. Um, started Yellowstone tonight. Yeah, I I haven't done um, Alice in Borderland yet either. You're waiting to watch Wheel of Time too. Okay, so we'll have to do uh, Wheel of Time discussions. Come on, y'all. All y'all who hang out, we have to watch the same shows so we can talk about them. We have to. It's pivotal. Because Diana doesn't watch anything anymore. No, not The Expanse. Liz, get out. Get out. Now. I'm, I'm gonna unmod you. I'm trying to remember what the it was it was called the movie was called Heavy Metal back in the day. I can't remember anything else about it. It was a cartoon or like a series of cartoons done by I want to say different animators. Ralph Bakshi did Lord of the Rings. Oh, I thought that was, uh, wasn't that J.R., or not J.R. Tolkien. Yeah, obviously he's Tolkien. Um, Rankin Bass did the animation. It was Harold Ramis. Well, that makes sense. Hey, Maricos. Shout out to Maricos. Give him a follow. If, you're so, if you love Darth Maul, give him a follow. Uh, happy early life day. Life day is tomorrow. Maybe I'll watch The Expanse when I see Deviously Mango at Christmas. You're going to see Deviously Mango at Christmas? What? what, what I, apparently I missed the news. What is going on? Uh, I may... I kind of want to get orange heads in some of these stormtroopers. We're meeting. Lives in my sister city. Oh, cool. Wait, Rankin Bass was the Frosty Snowman in Rudolph cartoons. Yes, but they also... I want to say they animated the uh, Lord of the Rings, no? And The Hobbit? No? I remember renting the Lord of the Rings uh, at VHS, the, mo the, the cartoon, back in the day. And watching it, and it says, stay tuned for Lord of the Rings Part 2. And they never did a Part 2. They never did a Part 2. So, oh, so angry. Like, what? And we went looking for it, and it didn't exist. They never did a part two. Of Lord of the Rings, the one, the, the. That's funny. Those, those are the movies I grew up with. They were old, they weren't old, but like, they're old now. Remember Gollum freaking me out from that cartoon? Yeah, I remember Gollum I, freaking me out as well. Yeah. Um, I remember watching Watership Down and, and kind of being, not scared, but like, wow, was, ooh, holy cow. It was just weird seeing rabbits in that context. And I watched the new Watership Down on Netflix. I enjoyed it. It was okay. It wasn't like, oh my god, this is the best. Um, I, I'm, I'm not really in uh, into the Beatles. Not really into the Beatles at all. I mean, I, I've, I've listened to them. I enjoy their music, but I'm not... It's not something that I would want to, you know, dig too deeply into. I don't know. Just was never really... And my mom liked the Beatles, but we didn't listen to them, like, 24-7 or anything like that. <clears throat> 1978 Lord of the Rings was Ralph Bakshi. The follow-up Return of the King in 80 was Rankin Bast. Oh. No, it's life changing OLED 4K movies. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I can't say that because I, you know, I've seen 4K movies and they're okay. They're good. They're nice. 
I'll get like all the little things like the beginning of the movie or the beginning of the show. It'll say, oh, this presented in this, you know, aspect ratio, this, that, you know, this, this feature, that feature, audio, video. And I watch it and I listen to it. I'm like, but it doesn't do it for me. That doesn't, that doesn't make it any more or less enjoyable for me. Thank you, Travis C. Love the recent vlog. Missed the daily vlogs. I know. I know you missed the daily vlogs, but Travis, because you're, you're not alone. Many people have come in and they said they, they really like the vlogs. The co all the comments basically said they miss them. So what I'm going to do, at least for the time being, and hopefully people will join as members to support the vlogs, um, weekly vlogs. So I'm going to compile from the week. Uh, hey, Karatsu. Um, the beard is going well, but I'm ready to shave. I'm so ready to shave. I don't I don't know if the beard is going to make it into December. I really don't. Because we're like halfway through November and I'm ready to like tear it all off. You're excited for the Peter Jackson documentary? Oh, I might watch it, but it's it's not, not necessarily my jam. Did an awesome 3D print a squid game card. Oh, nice. Hey, VL Chart, thank you for subbing. Here is because you saw. Yeah, chart. I just be subscribed for two, two months. Of these absolutely Ooh. revolting uh, pumpkin pie jelly belly jelly beans. And thank you for following Zugs Wang. Boom. Ugh. Not quite bean boozled, thank God. But ugh, that's okay. Veal chart, small price to pay. Ugh, we have a charades. Oh, we do. Sorry. Um. Is this two or three words? I'm gonna say. How can I do this one? Thank you, Zugzwang. Doing a charades. That's what we're doing right now. There's literally no other way to do this. Yeah, but fix him, dude. If I act it out, there's then it's just going to take him off. I already know that acting it out won't work. 
Ah, uh, yeah, but okay, Dark Toiler, here we go. Then. When someone gets it, y'all are just gonna die. <laughs> See, that's where I knew y'all were gonna go. That's where I knew you're gonna go. Can I do this? <laughs> Y'all, I don't have a lot of options here. Um, yes. DG776, by the way, talk to Ian. Ian does that kind of thing on Twitch. Shout out to Ian. Ian Douglas? Finally! Okay, there's the, there's the second. Thank you, Joshua. Joshua got it. Oh my god. Ralph! Ralph! You literally taught every every you used every word. You used every word for barfing except for Ralph. We needed Ralph! Ralph is barf to Ralph? Yes. Have you never heard of Ralph? I was Ralphing. Hey, what the hell is this? I don't care. Um, yeah, good one. Good one. Oh. So, buttons, we've got, um, who, who shall we, uh, who shall we raid? Now, Papa Bear, just, uh, he's streaming, he's a member of the team, uh, Brit's uh, streaming, uh, Old Republic, uh, Yoko's chatting, uh, Sid Heresy is streaming. That it. Buana is also streaming, but he's streaming a game. Um, let me uh, let me see. Oh, the Squid Game card. Oh, nice. These minifigures. I, I I'm I don't know if I'd print those out. I'm not into. I I like Squid Game, but not so much. Uh, we just ra I thought we ra just raided Daisy Pinoy though. Didn't we? I swear we did. It's been a while. I know. I need to keep like a calendar. Like, oh, here's who we did, who's we need to do, here's who I haven't done in a while. I know we just did Fred. I'm inclined to say, um... 
A lot of people. You know, I, you, pa- Papa Bear is is the one chatting the most, uh, or interacting the most. Yeah, I know. Everyone knows it's Life Day. I've talked about it. Uh, Sid Heresy, we haven't done in a while. Hey, Mine37388, I was just getting ready to flail. What is the key to a long-lasting relationship? As I just started dating my girlfriend, whom I've wanted to be with her for years, but now finally wanted to date me too. How do I make this last? Just wondering, you stare some wonderful wisdom. Be yourself and understand you're on a team. Period. Don't lie. Don't don't put on a false front. Learn how to communicate. I need a wheel of candidates. Yeah, that, that's actually not a bad idea, Coda. That's actually a really good idea. But then it would, you know, could be weighted or whatever. Uh, what camera are, do I recommend for video? Um, it depends. Um... It really depends. Uh, hey, Corey. Good to see you. Um, I don't... We, uh, um, Freckled Science, yeah, we, it's been a while since we've rated her. Um, in terms of a webcam or a camera, I think all webcams suck. So, um, I, I would not really necessarily recommend many webcams. I use that camera, um, but, um... If it's just for like workaday stuff, I, I made this recommendation to someone else um, on our Discord server. Actually, they were asking, uh, "What's this?" Jakandar was asking about this um, today or yesterday, uh, and I, I honestly, I'd recommend something like, uh, "You just need something to allow proctors to see me when taking a certification." So, oh, then get whatever. Uh, but my recommendation, honestly is you get a webcam you could use a webcam but the i would look into reincubate camo it's software that runs on either mac or pc on uh, for either android or ios devices and reincubate camo will basically allow you to mount your iphone or android device as a camera and it's a better quality image uh, because you already have a phone so you don't need to buy any new hardware uh, that's great, uh, and it would cost less than a webcam. You would use the phone that potentially you already have. Uh, just you would use your phone. Reincubate Camo is probably your best bet. It's probably your best bet. Uh, another thing that that you know for you're asking about a long term relationship. Don't rely on the other person for everything. Don't count on them to 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 talk to for everything. Don't count on them for everything. You have to have friends. You have to have other people that you talk to that you're open with. But if you're not ready to be open, you're not ready to be in a relationship. Um, yeah, no worries, Frazzy Fresh. Good luck. <laughs> you're talking with one right now. Has a hard time relating to me because I like things she doesn't. Oh, well, you got to find some things in common. And if you don't have anything in common, make something in common. You have to make an effort. You can't just say no, right? You have an ancient Android tablet set up with Octoprint. See, I don't I do not do that Octoprint th- thing. Thank you, Comic Age Clothing. Thanks again for your support. Appreciate you being here tonight. trying to drink continue to drink water I know I need to do a better job with drinking water throughout the day it's much better when I'm like sitting still and sitting down than it is any other time for me thank you spec 3d or SPC 3d for uh, tweeting the link to your followers that you're uh, watching the stream oh by the way 
speaking of other streamers, apparently uh, Streamlabs totally screwed up today. I mean, it was screwed up. Uh, and they basically plagiarized another uh, competitor's website for their own. And it, it, they took their lumps. So OBS, upon which Streamlabs OBS is based, tweeted, Near the launch of Slobs, Streamlabs reached out to us about using the OBS name. We kindly asked them not to. They did so anyway and followed up by following, filing a trademark. We tried to sort this out in private, and they've been uncooperative at every turn. So just FYI, yeah, not a very good participant or citizen in that space. So if you use Streamlabs OBS, I would recommend possibly looking into going straight up OBS. Streamlabs is just doing some funky stuff. Like one of those things, like, yeah, I don't know. But, you know, when it keep when that kind of thing keeps happening, it's a pattern. And when, when you when you see a pattern, when you recognize a pattern, pay attention. You pl drink plain carbonated water. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I, I have some. I just bought some. I keep forgetting we have it. And I had a... See, the thing is, when I buy anything like that, I always have to label it. Like, this is my... C, 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 D, 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 J, J. Because otherwise, I'll go to drink some, and I won't have any left. Because I'm like, dude, what happened? Well, I drank them a lot. I would have liked to have had two. Uh, so uh, I get around that problem by labeling. Because otherwise, you know, around here, it's gone. Especially if other people enjoy it. <laughs> uh, always use plain OBS, Kurt says. It might be a lot set up work with streams like Stream Elements. Have the benefit of being directly supported by the real OBS open source project. That's my feeling. Plus, uh, uh, less software overhead. Toxic companies are toxic. I don't drink juice, really. Not really. I don't. It's it, it's there. I don't drink juice. I mean, I there's juice in these jelly beans, right? This is just. I mean, it's a little bit. It's a little fun. Um, but I, I as a as a habit, uh, I don't drink uh, juice. A lot of it is just. It's it, it it not. It's not good. It's not healthy. I mean, it's just it's juice, but it's just pure sugar. You don't get any of the fiber of the fruit. Um, yeah, label your drinks. Correct, Veal Chart. Frazzy Fresh says, do I prefer Xbox or do I use Apple's game subscription or Google Stadia or Amazon Luna? No, 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 no. Um, don't really game. Jedi was asking, she she had this, there was a Lego game on Apple uh, Arcade, but I was the only one who, was, who might have been using Apple Arcade and I stopped using it. I'm like, well, I'm not really using the iPhone. I don't have games on the desktop and I, I'm using an Android tablet. So I'm not really doing Apple Arcade anymore. Uh, so I'm like, and because Jedi's not playing more than one game, it, I can't justify five dollars a month right now. Um, I don't have Google Stadia. Have no plans for Google Stadia. I like the idea of Google Stadia a lot. Um, I, I like the idea of Xbox a lot and Amazon Luna. I like the idea of it, but it's it's not always it's not always practical because we don't game. Now, at some point, you know, that the, the pendulum may swing, and it's like, okay, this makes sense. Like, because now we're, we're playing all these games, and we're, we're, using, this, we're using this platform and that platform so we, we can play. But we're not there. Jedi doesn't game on the console. Uh, she barely games on the, on the iPad. She does Minecraft mostly. So why pay $5 a month? Why waste $5 a month on something that nobody uses? And I feel the same way with entertainment services, too. Like, why, why are we paying $10 a month? You know, well, I'm watching a lot. You know, I watch across the services, so I feel that cost is justified. Or Jedi might watch shows, so that cost is justified. Diana doesn't, so I can't justify the cost based on her habits. Uh, thank you for following Brick Biters, although you should never bite a brick. Instead, use your brick separator. Brick separator. Da -da -da. Don't bite your bricks. Life tip. Um, what happened to my arcade machines? Which ones? The tiny ones? We got them all together. The the arcade machine that's here in the play shop, it's right there still. It needs to be, it, it's in need of, 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 of minor repair. I think a capacitor needs to be replaced for the CRT. And I, I know business, I think, can do it. It's just be, we haven't figured out when. I would love to have them over here to do it. And then I also want to see about upgrading the uh, 
the the PC if I can from from the Windows XP to a newer machine, not connected to the internet or anything like that. But I just need help. I'm not a hardware guy. I'm not a I'm not a maker guy. You're close to getting Apple One because you use Apple Music, Apple TV, and iCloud TV, uh, Plus. Uh, cheaper than all three of the service includes Apple Arcade too. See, that's the thing is, out of all the Apple services, I guess we don't we don't use Apple Music, so that's ten dollars, right? And we use Apple TV Plus. I will keep Apple TV Plus beyond whatever we would be paying. Like Apple, Apple has got, they've got enough entertainment value. The series are great. I, I can't say that everything has been a, a hit, you know, for me. But I've enjoyed what Apple TV Plus has done. I, I have, and I haven't even watched everything that they may have to offer. But it's good. We're on iCloud Plus, but. Would I ever do another video with Barnacles? We just did. We just raised money. We raised $8,000 for Gimpy. So we just did something together. Arcade machines can't always be upgraded. No, I, I understand that. Uh, I would like to see about the possibility of that happening, personally. Uh, last episode of Foundation this week? Oh, man. I've been enjoying it. I can't say it's like, oh, man. Oh. I mean, I, I think I enjoyed Game of Thrones more than... Um, uh, I mean, in terms of like an episodic series, or I, I think I enjoyed um, Agents of Shield more than Foundation. I mean, it's, it's not exactly the same genre, but like, you know, oh now the next episode, oh now the next episode. I, I look forward to it, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Um, it's enjoyable. It's entertainment. No doubt. Okay, we're gonna go from orange to yellow. This one's, what's great about, like I said, what's great about this Stormtrooper is I'll be able to mix and match the, uh, the ah, other ones to get uh, the pure, I'll be able to mix the troopers. Da da da, da da da, da 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 da. Uh, I have seen the new Tom Hanks uh, film. It was okay. Um, it was worth a watch. Freeze frame? Really? No. Free frame. Oh, you did. You spelled it right, Krusty. Uh, I know many bowling alleys run in Windows 98 because that's what the software runs on. Yeah, I bet. You've enjoyed Foundation episodes? Well, I've enjoyed the episodes. I'm still watching it. Um, the Shrink Next Door. That's another one I, I definitely want to watch. I may. I, what am I going to try tonight? I gotta look, but I gotta remember the shrink next door. Because that one is like, okay, that might be worth a watch. Waiting for the second season of The Witcher? Me too. I, I will watch that. I enjoyed The Witcher, knowing nothing about the game. Da, da, da. <laughs> Foundation is getting good. Yeah, it's okay. It's not, like, spectacular. Vader Tim. But that's what's, you know, that's entertainment, right? It's either It either hits you or it doesn't. It's either a hit or a miss. And it's all relative. Uh, will I ever do another Gnome Dax? Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know. That 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 would be that'd be a very distant non possibility. New Blade Runner show on Adult Swim. Oh, I didn't know that, or did I? So many things I've missed. So many things I've missed. Really, Adult Swim. Uh, Blade Runner. Do people like it? Blade Runner Black Lotus. Alright, maybe I'll have to like... Give me a second. Uh, Blade Runner Black Lotus. I'll record it. Oh, wait. Upcoming, upcoming, upcoming. No, 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 no. Where is it? How do I... Mm.
Oh, it's not on yet. Season one, episode one. Oh, VOD. It is. Okay, so we got one and two. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll record it. I'll give it a shot. I gotta, I gotta, see, the thing is, in, on each service, I have to add, I have to add the, uh, oh, is it not? Really? Okay. See, I, uh, yeah. Fraggle Rock is coming up, and I'll, I'll I'll probably watch that. I gotta hear I gotta hear back about Yellowstone, because I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, Invasion's been fun. I, I'm interested in where it's going. I mean, I can't say that it's an absolute favorite, but Invasion's been fine. I'm not sure what else, uh, apart from Dr. Brain, that Apple TV Plus has that, that I might be uh, interested in. Wait, what? New Fraggle Rock? Yep. Coming uh, next year? Pretty sure next year? Coming soon? New Fraggle Rock? Yellowstone may be too adult. Well, Jedi does not watch any of this stuff. I like that kind of stuff, but... I just gotta know what it's about. I gotta, I gotta hear recommendations. Like, like, that's how Squid Game bubbled up for me. Interested in the, the documentary, Twas the Night Before Christmas? Oh, interesting. Maybe? Well... See, I've got to manage all my shows on the desktop because otherwise it's a pain in the neck. I actually Netflix um, Netflix's uh, auto recommender, like top the top in the U.S. or whatever, has been great. Uh, that's it, Red Notice came up like number one. I can see why. I mean, it's good, but I've already pretty much caught up on all the things that are top there. Uh, I've got a few things, you know, on my list, but nothing that's like you know, jumping out as like, okay, this is the next one I have to watch. This is the next one I'm into kind of thing. It, but like I said, a lot of what bubbles up for me is what how Masters of the Universe Re Revelation is coming soon as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And of course, Ozark when that's when that's out. Oh, wait, hang on. Is there a new episode of Arcane? Oh, whoa, yeah. I've got like three episodes of Arcane to catch up on. Wow. I caught, I watched the first three, but I guess I got the next three. I've got... It's, it feels good to have entertainment options. You know, when I'm not streaming. What am I doing when I'm not streaming? I'm, I'm watching a show. I'm assembling Stormtroopers. This Stormtrooper that I'm printing now is going to get mixed up with uh, this one. In between the two, I'll have a, a I feel a pretty solid uh, candy candy cane stormtrooper setup. All I need is like a couple of good ones, or just one good one. I'm not into Dexter, so I probably will not be watching that. No plans. So we are back with the uh, quandary of who we gonna raid. And I'm thinking Sid Heresy. 
because a lot of the Lego streamers that I want to raid, well, I, I think are going to be like December's the, the that's the time because I'll be in the I'll be doing the Lego stuff in December. Um. So Sid Heresy is doing some uh, he's doing some circuitry work, which is really nerdy. You watched American Dots? I, I did watch it. Disappointed they didn't do a second one, but it wasn't, like, amazing. It wasn't awesome. Toy Hunter? Yeah, that'll be a fun one. I don't... I mean, as much as I enjoy John Oliver, I don't watch him. I mean, I... I I don't watch. It's there. It's right there. But I'm like, eh, there's... I just... I, I, I don't need reality right now. I, I Honestly, I think that's the problem, is I don't need reality. I, I get enough reality. I, I like... I, I turn to TV as a form of escapism for me. Will George Lucas ever come back? Frazzy Fresh is a good question. I don't know. So there's our raid tonight. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Appreciate all the support, all the subs, all the cheers. It's great. Thank you so much. I uh, got through a few more of those uh, Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. Uh, oh, wait, what the hell? It disappeared. I'm hitting the raid button. There we go. We're going to be raiding uh, another nerd, Sid Heresy. Really nice guy. He loves dancing. He builds his own uh, musical instruments. And he's actually putting one together right now. It's amazing. Uh, happy to hang a little bit longer uh, since you popped in. Mine37388, thank you. You've been an amazing supporter of this uh, broadcast. Uh, this, the, the entirety of it, not just tonight. Um, so thank you. Once again, I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. And may the force be with you always. Uh, we're going to be Tuscan reading a, uh, a, like I said, a nerd. Give him a follow. Get the Perillo Raider emotes ready. Get him ready. Get him staged. Get him going. Uh, get him, get, get him, get him set. Get him hot. Get him ready. There we go. Kurt, Kurt knows how to do it. Kurt knows how to do it. I saw a question in there. Sorry, I missed the question. Someone asked a question. Sorry, I missed it. But you came in in the middle of a raid or a raid attempt, a raid direction. Uh, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So feel free to come back tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific, specifically, to tune in and figure out what the hell we're doing on Life Day. We're going to have an amazing Life Day tomorrow. And I, I, I really would like you to join me on Life This It's a big deal for me. It's a bigger deal than Christmas. Life Day is huge. For Star Wars fans, ever, you, like me, Star Wars fans like me love Life Day. So we may be watching the holiday special together. Are you ready for that? Okay, well, if not, hopefully you're ready for the raid. Here we go. Tuscan raiding. Sid Heresy in three, two, one. <laughs> there we go. And playing Sid. There we go. Perillo Raider. Boop, 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 Oh, Chris Perillo coming in. Well, there Woo. you go. Coming in with that right.